abandoned and decaying since 1996, Kings Park Psychiatric Center was a staple of Long Island which served the mentally ill for over a decade. In this episode, we're adventuring into the historic mental institution with the goal of reliving the terrifying history that patients were succumbed to during its operation. Built in 1885, Kings Park housed over 9,000 patients occupying a campus comprised of 150 buildings. Overcrowding subjected the asylum to eventual closure, as well as new drugs treating mental illness being introduced into the world. What's going on guys? We are at Kings Park and we're doing a proper introduction now. Uh, we're inside and we're at the famous X building in the middle. We're trying to find a way in, but they've done a pretty good job of keeping people out. So, far. so yeah, so far. So it's Stop quite far. wet and we have to hide from cars, but um, we're gonna try to get in this building and then we'll check back in. So yeah. So clearly, this entire place is flooded. For those that don't know, at the time we're recording this, New York City is going through a terrible flood warning, and it has been torrential downpouring for a couple days now, which doesn't make it any easier for us. So Woodstock made the executive decision to shoot up to the top first. Always, because you can, can you see the prop. Decision? Well, the reason why I always go to the roof first is because you can Ooh, see if anybody, uh, anybody can see you coming in the property or if there's anybody cop-wise on the property. So Ethan and I found this little corner room and we found a couple cool pieces of machinery here and a cool view. And one of the cool things that I've noticed so far in the first 20, 30 minutes we've been in here is kind of how well put together it is. You know, you think for a place that's on Long Island, you know, that has so many, you know, visitors and so many people wanting to explore, it would be really beat up. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, there's graffiti everywhere and everything's smashed, but I mean, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, honestly, compared to, some of the places we've been. It's kind of impressive. I think it's, yeah, I love to you. We're gonna keep going. Like I said, Woodstock wanted to go top to bottom and there's so much here that it's kind of hard to you know, figure out what I want to film. So I'm just gonna try to get as much of it as I can and then put it in order myself. But uh, we're gonna go link up with them and go hit the next part of the building.
Crap your shot, boy. Alright. This is to a successful fucking long ass day and night. And here are the good ships, here are the hard ships, here are the wooden ships that sail the sea. Here are the friendships, may they forever be. <laughs> but if we should ever argue or disagree, then fuck all y'all in here to me. Here's to you. Yeah. Woo. Let's go explore. I think it's come to the point where in almost every video there's just been a chair. And I always point them out, and people wonder why, but if you just look at them, look at their surrounding, look at the condition that they're in, it's just ominous. This could have very well been a kitchen area. Side. Because the wing is not in great condition, so it's kind of hard to tell. I want to get glow sticks. I want to do the tunnels. Even if it Alright, well, we separated the group. We got our trusty walkie talkies. So we're going to cover as much of this hostel as we can in two groups. Not really doing, as you would say, an investigation right now, more exploring because daytime is just not as creepy and right. This is really were we in this room? It's kind of hard to, t yeah, we it's were. Nice yeah, we were just down there. It's so okay. big. Well, let's just it's like on. a maze. Let's go all the way down this way. Or is this a different floor? It might be. No, because no. we never went through that door. We went though. down the stairs though. Look out the window and see what floor we're on. See, these places get real fucking confusing. Yeah, we went down the stairs. This is the floor. Yeah, the ground's right here. What is this? Yep. No, right. It's just a head. Because in this one, if you've ever seen Fantasia, it's just elephant heads. And that's it right there. You'll see this exact shape of the way it's done in that as it forms into the elephant head. Oh. That person's an artist. So, Alan. Okay, so we're on live right now. Um, and. Okay. What's that? I'm sure I don't like it. Alright, one of y'all who are able-bodied and not fucking old like me, do a pull-up. Oh, white boy's got some ups. Are you gonna do a backflip? <laughs> oh, Alright, so we've kind of given up trying to go about this uh, building in like a pattern. And we kind of decided we're just gonna do a free-for-all. And we've been lost for about 10 minutes on a couple of occasions. So we're back up on the fourth floor now. And our eventual goal is to try to get up on the roof to try to get on the other side that we couldn't access from where we were. So once we get up there, we're gonna check that out and then probably head over to the second building. So there'll be more of the beds. Were we here already? No, this is, I don't think so. This is like the other one All right, well, let me get back to it. Go. Look at this shit. 
It's literally hanging on by just the corner of the rear. Not the this window. Thing. Not the wall. Not the ceiling. Literally just this. Oh, in there, you fucking dick. Oh my god. Get out of there. covered the X building, which was building 21 and 22. So this building mainly housed like geriatric patients, um, you know, people on like dialysis, just like generally old people. The building that we're going to be going to over that direction uh, is building 15, which has been known for uh, the most violent patients that were kept specifically in that location because they just could not be with other people here. So we're going to head over that way. Let's do it. Woodstock, anything to say? May the force be with us. I'm sorry, I'm a little tipsy. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she's we need some we need some bread with all that cheese. Sponsored by Celsius. Get your drink on. Let's get it. The foliage and greenery is incredible on these structures. It really looks like something that just was put here, just doesn't belong. That's kind of awkward. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's a box. I got you, buddy. Still You're sitting. forever mine. All right, we are in building. That one's just chilling, dude. He's just, just hanging there. Just making sure we're not gonna harm him. You look at him, they're like freaking out, and they're like, "What?" I'm nervous. You're okay. Oh, he's got little worms. Yeah. They had little snubs. Yeah. They probably get pretty big around here. Oh, no one's going right there. All right. Building 15. Yeah, just see. Dude, they're like, you guys should not go in there. Like, that was way too easy. What? No. All right, so this is one of our first looks of the actual field. And some of the smaller buildings that are peeking out on the other side. And that's the one that we're currently trying to get into. What do you think? It's pretty cool. Look at that. All right, so we've spent about the last 30, 40 minutes walking around building 15, and surprisingly, not one entrance. Not one. And we're a little disappointed about it. Yeah, there's a window that's broken, like on the second level, but you can kind of see right over there, it's too high. So we can't get into it. So we're kind of stuck, but we're gonna keep trying and 
hopefully we can get in there. We're going to come back to this building. We're going to go out and buy a ladder because we know the way in. It's just not happening without it. So we're going to go into the big patient ward and go to the roof. I'll show them the entrance. I feel like we're walking into a horror movie. It's our entrance. Alright guys, so we found our entrance point and we're gonna head our way into the main building. For this building, since it's so massive and there's at least 16 or 17 floors, uh, instead of going floor by floor, I'm just gonna record the things that are cool. Otherwise, it would take literally at least one day. So we're going to get in here and uh, try to get to the roof, get some cool shots, and keep going throughout the complex. This one was constructed in, I think, 1936, but this is just the, uh, the general hospital for all the patients, like all, and um, it has like 13 floors, so it's really long. We made it in the Tall. basement, and the first thing I noticed, guys, was the, the wind. I don't know if you felt it, but it, there was like an ominous breeze. This looks like cots or something. This looks like Forest Haven. Keep going. Alright guys, we've begun our descent of the main building and Woodstock, do you know exactly how many floors it is? I've heard 13, I've heard 16. Oh no, it's 15, 17. Okay, 15, 17, something like that. So we don't have an exact number. But for anyone that says it's easy, I invite you to come try it with us. How are you doing so far? Yeah, you can see so many other buildings from here. So I'll catch you when we get to the top. I wasn't kidding when he said they were carbon copies. This is the same as the uh, floor below and one below that.
All right, so we're almost on the floor. If there's one more stairwell, that will apparently allow us to get to the roof. It definitely goes up one more level than I remember. Yeah, yeah look. Let's see up in it. Did you come up this far yesterday? This is really being tested here. This is about as tricky as it gets. What? Is that sturdy? Come on, bro. Shit. Climb up this side, walk around, climb up that, up that, what's up there? Yeah, you're right. Are you feeling it? Kind of. Kind of? Okay, good. So, you can lie your head down now, and what's stopping now to help a few random explorers get in. So we're going to end on there, and then I think the plan is that we're going to take a break for a little bit, because we're going to eat, and then get back at it. There's a lot more to go. Really disappointed that this is flooded because this would have had the perfect view. And we're kind of figuring out that most floors have pretty much the same design. Luke Stock said that he thought that once we got high enough up, it would change a little bit, but for the most part, the style has been the same. So we think that everyone in our group just got caught, probably because Woodstock was going to help the kids. There's a guy in a truck down there and he just made everyone leave. So it doesn't look like they got in trouble. He definitely can't go now. Is he back in the truck? Oh yeah, the cops. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, so they did get caught, but he let them go. So we're just gonna wait it out for a few minutes so the coast is clear and then we're gonna get out ourselves. But you can see him driving away all the way down there. All right guys, so I'm stepping away from the outside. So there's no chance of him hearing us at all even though we're up so high. He pulled away, but he came back and he's kind of circling now. So we really have to stay hidden. The fact they got let go probably means we'll be fine. But, I mean, 
if he knew that we were in here and we just gave up our spot, then maybe he won't be too happy with that. So we're going to still keep waiting it out and see what happens. So we just talked to Woodstock and the security guard is making them move the premises. So apparently he's parked out front, which is how we have to get out. So we might not be able to get So we're going to investigate the situation and then make a decision based on that. But for now, we're kind of stuck in here, but at least they don't know we're here. So we'll, we'll check back in. Alright, we're going to leave the running camera. You hold up exactly what happens now. This is the front side, and we have to get around to the back side using the front side. Go, go, go. Can you see through it? No. Oh yeah, I don't see it. They can't see us from the village from here. It all depends on if he's right here. So we have to slip under the fence and it's gonna make noise. Do you want to cl just climb the fence? No. Huh? No? Yeah. It's too high. Alright, let's just go. Let's just do it. Ethan and I successfully navigated our way out and we are now safe back on legal grounds and we're being told to wait to be picked up by Woodstock because they actually got kicked out of the park and I think now the plan is is we're probably going to end this for now and then that's cool go get some food and then uh, we're going to come back and start ghost hunting so we'll see what happens.